Let's go over an introduction to SQL. So first, a query is a command to insert, retrieve, update, or delete data from a database. A query language, such as SQL, is a programming language for creating queries. SQL, pronounced SQL, stands for a structured query language that was developed by IBM in the 70s and is currently the most popular query language for all relational databases. A SQL statement is a database command. For example, the insert command will insert rows into a table. The select command will retrieve data from a table. The update command will modify data in a table and the delete command will delete rows from a table. The SQL language can also create or delete a database or table, assign user permissions, and more. Another commonly used SQL statement is the create table statement, which creates a new table by specifying the table and column names with assigned data types that indicate the format of column values. Data types can be int, which stands for integer values, decimal, which stores fractional numeric values, varchar, which stores any kind of text, and date, which stores the year, month, and day. Some data types are followed by the size of the data in parentheses. For example, if you had varchar with the 15 in parentheses immediately following it, that would specify that this column will only hold text that's up to 15 characters in length max. For the decimal database column, if you had two numbers in parentheses separated by a comma, like decimal parentheses 5 comma 2 right parentheses, that would indicate five significant digits and including two digits after the decimal point. That would be good for storing currency in the database. Most applications that use databases have SQL statements combined with a programming language like Python, C++, or Java. And to make things easier, an API, which stands for Application Programming Interface, is provided to help connect the programming language to a database. The language in your program calls library procedures that handle details such as connecting to the database, executing queries, returning results. For example, Java uses the JDBC library to access relational databases. There are database APIs that are available for each programming language.